Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. Hey, welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, and this is a place where we clear out what's in your way to make room in your mind and your life for your ideas. I have spent the last month talking about self-trust. And it's a theme that keeps presenting itself to me as something worth exploring, because when we learn to trust ourselves, we like our decisions and outcomes much more. We also make decisions more easily. We dither around less and trust our inner knowing that we can handle anything more, no matter what the outcome is. So today I want to tell you about a phone call I had two weeks ago. It was a Zoom call with five women. All of us are serving on a local philanthropic board. Three are black women, three are white women, and we were co-creating our council's solidarity statement supporting Black Lives Matter. I was taking notes. I was not taking the lead, and for once it was my turn to just shut up and listen. And at the end, we had some time for some real talk. And in the context of an honest conversation in a safe space, I shared with everyone that as a white person, I'm scared to say the wrong thing. I fully acknowledged that it's no one's responsibility to carry me as I learn more about equality and diversity and inclusion and solidarity. And I'm willing to do hard things and be uncomfortable. But I said, all my questions about racism are stupid. They're, they're hurtful. They're pathetic. It became really clear to me over the past few months how uninformed I have been. And I felt honored to be in the room to do this work with these people. And also that I felt like a total asshole. You know what they said? Keep asking questions, Jen. Keep showing up. Keep doing the hard things. It matters because even if it's wrong or imperfect, this is how change happens. And it was a really powerful moment for me that I wanted to share with you because I would bet that someplace in your life, you are looking to make a change happen. And so I'm going to ask, where in your life is that? And where are you needing to put your courage and your self trust to work to bring it to life? I noticed that it's not just me struggling with self-trust. I've seen it in every client call. I've seen it in posts on social media and emails that women send me. It seems like we're all a bit lacking in self-trust right now, and I'm going to include myself in that. And when we feel unsure and are in uncharted territory, it's terrifying to be visible, even for people like me who are used to being seen and heard. So I have a question for you. Do you remember all the teaching I did on this podcast back in early 2020 on courage? The teaching I did about how to be afraid and do it anyway? I wanted to encourage you today, wherever you are in your life and your business, just keep showing up. Keep doing the hard work. Keep asking the questions. In our lives, it's not the questions that are the problem. It's the assumptions. Is there a question that you have that you've been dying to ask but have been afraid to ask? Ask it. Do you have a question about your business that's been living in the deep recesses of your mind? Ask me. Grab your courage. Trust yourself. Ask me. I'm here for it because as I used to tell my high school and college students, no question is a dumb question. The only mistake that we make is not asking questions. And so I'm going to give you a quick overview. Here are some of the questions I hear and answer on a daily basis. And you can see the realm of variation here, right? What's a lead magnet? How do I create standard operating procedures? How do I stop my business from running me? How long does it take you to write your content? How do I hire a virtual assistant? What is a virtual assistant? Do I need to network to be successful in business? I answer questions all day long and I don't judge them. If you're here to do the work of your business, go ahead, ask me a question. You can reach out to me on my website, jenliddy.com, and simply hit the contact me page, and I promise I will answer you. But somewhere in your life, there's a change you want to make, and you're going to have to get uncomfortable to do it. And so today, I just wanted to encourage you, go ahead and get uncomfortable, because that is how change happens. 
Thanks for listening. Please share this with someone that you know needs to hear this message. And I appreciate you being one of my listeners. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app. And tell that friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go. I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.